say was on my mind What's good, Jamon Gordon back with another DSC Fitness video today and from the title of the video, yes you guys can see my three key mindsets that led me to my gains to where I was to where I'm at today and how I was able to overcome these obstacles. So I'm gonna list the three out and then go into depth and talking about them here soon. So the three. First you have to envision, you have to embody what you want to become, embody who you see yourself becoming in the future. Two don't compare yourself to other people. Like there's, it's, it's just you and you. And then three, accept that every day you won't feel like Jimmy. You're gonna have your days that you do feel like Jimmy and days that you don't feel like Jimmy. So let's hop back into the first one, envisioning, embodying, becoming the person that you wanna become, seeing that person and saying, that's me. So when I first started my, my whole bodybuilding journey when I was at least like, when I was 12 years old, man, I was, Every single day, constantly, I would always think about the person who I wanted to become. I would watch videos, like that's who I want to become. Like that's that's the type of body I want to type. That's the type of body I want to achieve. That's that's, that's just everything that I want to. That's how I want to care of myself. So every single day, I would think about who I wanted to become as not only as an individual but as a bodybuilder too. And not only that, I would actually just embody that person. So I would really wake up every single day and act like I was already two, 200 pounds or 180 pounds or you know already cut and lean and all I'm doing is just like I'm still consistently hitting the gym. So I feel like that is the biggest part of what molded me and grounded me to the person who I am today and was able to you know keep going to the gym and keep striving to become that person too. Don't compare yourself to others. Everybody has a different journey. Everybody has a different path. You cannot look at somebody and say that this is, you know, how I'm supposed to be, or this is how, you know, I don't understand why they're here. Like we started at the same time, whatever it may be. And you know, here, here, here goes the story. Like I remember I was, when I was younger, me and my buddy started this together and he, you know, he was gaining these results much quicker than I was and I got into the mindset like well we started at the same time I'm putting in not if as much work more work than him and I'm still not like I'm still not getting the same results as he's getting and I had to I had to stop I had to stop doing that I had to switch my mindset to say you know what he's on his own journey and I'm on my own like everybody's different everybody's different genetics so you cannot compare yourself to other people and that, that goes to another thing, man. I was I was so consumed in becoming a perfectionist and making sure that I was, you know, sculpting my body to the absolute perfect way that I wanted it to be. And yes, have, you know, that motivation to achieve what you want to achieve and, you know, get the results that you want to get, but don't be consumed into the fact of becoming a perfectionist yeah, where it, that's like, you just can't enjoy the workout or, you know, it kind of stunts you or stuns you from, uh, going to the gym or doing whatever you want to do like don't be so hard on yourself about that and three accept that every day You simply won't feel like Jimmy like not every single day Does Jeremy Wendy and he's a he's a king of like Men's physique right now. He won seven seven titles in a row Phil Heath Seven titles eight seven or eight titles. I'm not sure seven or eight titles in a row for bodybuilding or like Freaking, I don't know, Tom Brady, like all these other people that are like athletes, do what they want to do. Like they don't, trust me, they don't feel like every day going to the gym and going and putting in this work. Like they, trust me, they have their days where they don't want to do anything like everyone else. But accepting that you don't feel like doing it and still going and knowing that there are going to be days like that, that makes it so much easier and so much better to overcome this uh this feeling of not wanting to do work and that's where i had to that's that was one of the hardest things for me because like you know i feel like with, with a lot of people you know like you get into those days where you don't feel like doing anything and you don't do anything so you don't go to the gym or you you you, you just take the week off whatever it may be and that kind of that really does stunt however however much you're, you're choosing to grow in your gains 
and actually achieving those gains. So that's rule number two, or rule number three, I mean, don't, know, know that every day is not gonna be a perfect day to go to the gym. And one way that kind of like really got me through this when I was younger was, you guys may think it's cheesy, or I still maybe may do it, but I would, before my workouts, I would watch a motivational video. Uh, like a literally like a, a bodybuilding motivational video and I would look at the guys who were doing the reps doing the weights and I'd be like okay that's what I want to do and that's how I'm going to act like I'm, that's how I'm going to look that's how I'm going to act that's how I'm going to put much effort into when I was when I would go to the gym and I do the same exact thing like dude literally like up there bitching out like three 340 whatever it may be and like grunting in their face like looking all ugly and shit and you know I was just like okay well I'm about to Look, I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm about to do the same exact thing as well. So that's that's number three. Accept that every day you're not gonna feel like gymming, but everyone has their own way of finding a way to cope with them not wanting to gym, and everyone has to find their own way. Like I, I told you that I told you the whole motivational part, and then now it's more so just like I know that I'm not like this has been like literally three days in a row where like I haven't felt like gymming, but I would go and maybe my my work effort, my hard work in, in the gym may not have been 100%, but it may have been like 80%. But for me not wanting to go to the gym that day or you know just wanting to take the day off, me giving 80% at the gym is still better than 0%. So I'm still taking that. I'm still keeping that mindset and Hopefully you guys can take some of these key mindsets that, I, that I've used that's helped me a lot and apply it to yourselves. Um, boom, what's up? What's up? Yeah, you see this white DST t-shirt is on. If you guys want your own DST t-shirts, I'm gonna leave the link at the description, in the description box so you guys should just go there and copy shirts on there and everything's at a 50% discount right now so look you guys are practically getting this shirt for free to 1275 like that's a steal you know what I'm saying you're not gonna go to PacSun or JCPenney's or Macy's and find a shirt for 1275 that's dope too so thank you guys for watching the video comment like subscribe you know the drill tell your mama tell your daddy tell your cat and I'll see you guys in the next video